Good evening Vapors! It's DBX here again, I'm back with another, uh, I've got a juice review again this time. Um, what we have here today is, uh, this is actually another eSig shop.eu vape, uh, juice, vape, juice, uh, whatever, it's a vapor juice. Uh, it's your e-juice, as some people or other people would call it. Uh, this one is, um, more than likely I'm going to pronounce this wrong, let's be honest here now. Uh, before I get into that, uh, back again, I uh, have the dripper here, I have the coil in it already, uh, as I said and previously I will get into into another video of rebuilding them, uh, well the way I rebuild them anyway, and hopefully that will sort something out for you. Uh, so the dripper, got the drip tip, have a new drip tip now, um, <clears throat> and this juice here is, uh, it's another, it's a little bottle again, this is I'm going to call it X Ryusite. X Ryusite. Uh, I'll spell it. It's E X R Y U S I T E. At least I think that's how it's spelled anyway. Uh, the little labels here, they, they, they're a bit blurred. Um, and from what I can make out on it, um, it's mint cream with juice de IK. Ah, oh, let's be honest here, I have no clue. Uh, with the Oriental tobacco flavour. Uh, so this is a tobacco one. Uh, the RY uh, usually, I think, are tobacco ones with various other bits and bobs mixed in. Uh, so once again, I'm going <coughs> to... One second. It's clear on my nose there. Let's see here now. Okay, so it's a bit... Uh, uh, definitely kind of, I think it's the mint cream I could be smelling off this, but it's definitely kind of a, 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 a kind of a, a chocolatey type smell that I'm getting off it. Kind of, maybe not chocolatey, maybe a bit of caramel or something like that, but uh, it's, it's, you know, I can't smell any of the, the oriental tobacco that's in it. Uh, I do actually like the oriental tobaccos. Uh, there is another vape juice from, uh, I think I have done it, if not I will with an oriental tobacco in it. Uh, so let's see what we've got in here. Again, with the dripper, just putting the drops in. Ooh, flying them in. Oh, there we go. Uh, put on the new drip tip. Ah, it's a mental looking yoke. It's all curvy and bumpy and... all over the place. Uh, Acrylic or plastic or basically it's it's a plastic drip tip and it has swirls in it with bumps on it. So let's see what this one's like. I'll give it a give it a burn. I never even actually put that on my fingers to check it. So I'll do that now to see what the smell is. Dab it on there. Okay, it's definitely stronger than when you're just sniffing from the from the from the tip. Mmm, that's Definitely getting kind of the, I think it is kind of the, the mint cream part of it that I'm getting out of it. It's not quite uh, like a fries mint cream or something like that. It's nowhere near that strong. So um, it could be that it's not mint cream at all that I'm smelling. No, that's in there. It's definitely, it's a bit, it's, it's kind of a mild mint cream. Um, it's like if you, uh, if you stuck your finger in mint cream and then licked all the mint cream off to your finger and then kind of smelt your finger about five minutes later, that's exactly what you'd be smelling, I think. Could be wrong. Might have to go try that. I do like a mint cream. Oh, anyway, 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 let's vape. Nice bit of vapor production there now. Okay, like the one I did uh, did last um, with the mint, with the the, uh, the other mint one I did, uh, the cool mint or the, the the wild mint. Dig around for it here. Actually, where is it? No, nope. hold on now. I'll find it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, uh, the wild mint from last time. Uh, this one is uh, you do feel a slight cool on your on your in your mouth. Not as much as the last one, but you do definitely feel in kind of the mint cream part of it anyway. Mm. 
nice vapor production. Uh, if I remember, it's not as good as the last one. It wasn't as much vapor as the last one. Um, it could even just be because of the coil inside it, who knows, but it doesn't seem to be as much vapor as the last one. Oh, there we go. Actually, that's that's a good amount of, of vapor coming out there. Mm. Right, that's a nice amount of vapor coming out there now. Um, <coughs> I'm not getting, myself, I'm not getting the taste of any tobacco off this. Uh, if there is tobacco in this, um, well, there is the tobacco in it, the oriental tobacco in it. Um, when I smoked, I never had oriental tobacco, so I don't know how much of a flavor that's going to give anybody. But I'm not getting a specific tobacco flavor off this. I think the other ingredients in it, the other flavors in it, especially the mint cream, and then that other one I couldn't pronounce, are uh, they're 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 definitely covering it for me anyway. Um, it could be, <coughs> excuse me, um, it could be that if you are looking for specifically looking for them, and you have your your mouth is attuned to you only vape tobacco ones, you could just get the tobacco out of this, and you might get the hint of the other bits off. Can't say for certain because different strokes for different folks. Now this one is only a 12 milligram bottle or 12 milligram strength uh, in this one but I can definitely feel a, a kick off it and that could be again that could be the tobacco offer Um, I'm not 100% certain on that uh, because I stay away from the tobacco ones mainly. I, oh, mm. it's actually a bit too sweet for me. Uh, if I had, if if I was going to fill a tank with this, I wouldn't use this as an all-day vape. It's a bit too sweet for her, for for my tastes. Uh, saying that, one of my favorite juices is strawberry candy floss. Uh, but this is a bit too sweet for me. It's it's not really sweet, sweet. It's it's kind of uh, if you have uh, the only way to compare, it, I'd say, would be if you uh, uh, it's, it's like pavlova versus death by chocolate. One is nice and light. The other is incredibly heavy. Now you could eat the two of them, but you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to eat the death by chocolate all day every day. Whereas the pavlova, you could eat it for a while. Um, not recommended at all. Uh, if you are going to do that, use it as part of a balanced diet. Uh, just covering myself under everything that I can think of at the moment there now. Uh, don't drink and drive and don't vape and fly. I think I've just about covered myself there. Mm, that is, I do, I, I would recommend that if you're into your very sweet ones. Um, but then again, as I said, different strokes for different folks. If you like your sweet ones, you'll like you might like this. If you like your sweet ones, you might not like this. It's each to their own at the moment. Um, but I would. Um, this would be another one that I would. Uh, I'd go for myself. I'd kind of. I buy. I wouldn't buy it in bulk. Like with some juices, I buy maybe 30, 40 mils a month, and that'll keep me for the month. Whereas with uh, a bottle of this, this would keep for like a 10 mil bottle. I'd. I'd, I'd have. Get five tanks out of that, five Kanger Pro tanks, five of them out of that, and that'd do me for a month. I wouldn't do it every day, all day. Um, but that's another one that I would definitely, I'd go for that if you're, uh, if you do like your, your, if you like your hint of tobacco in the back of your throat, there giving you a bit of a kick. That could be it. I've no idea. And um, anyway, uh, we'll wrap that up there. That's the X Ryu site. X Ryu site, I'm gonna call it that until somebody specifies otherwise. Uh, from e sigshop.eu, that's e sigshop.eu. Uh, definitely check them out because there is a lot, a lot of other flavors that they have on their site. Okay, thank you for watching and happy vaping.